Hey guys, it's Mike here and welcome to Auto Vlog. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, 2015 Ford F-150 that I have. Um, we've had it since May of 2015, it's January 2016 now. And as many of you know, we've been on a couple trips with this truck here. Uh, if you watched the uh, previous videos and been a subscriber for a while. So what we're going to do is an owner's review, uh, pretty much a nine month owner's review, I guess. We've put 17,200 miles on it in that time because uh, we've been around. So we're going to talk a little bit about how we've experienced the truck and how it's been treating us and uh, you know how we like it, pros and cons, that kind of thing. Let's go take a look at the truck here. All right, so first off, what we're gonna do, the truck is absolutely filthy. So we will be uh, going and cleaning the truck a little bit here. I'm gonna move this bag. As you can see here, stepdaughter sits back here and uh, she eats a lot of crackers. <laughs> so we're just gonna go clean the truck up a little bit here and continue the video. Okay, so we got the truck cleaned, which um, seeing how the weather is, was uh, pretty much a waste, but at least it looks a little better because now it's raining, it's really windy outside, and it's actually, it's like a snow mixed shower. So <clears throat> driving down to a place here where I'm gonna do a, uh, if it's not too windy, I'll, I'll do a walk around, but. I'll probably do the review of the truck, the exterior of the truck from the inside the truck. Because if it's blowing too much, you won't be able to hear what I'm saying anyway. Now, since we got this truck, we haven't had any issues whatsoever. I mean, it's been a great truck. We've taken it on these longer trips that I've mentioned already and uh, no issue whatsoever. The one thing that I wish that we had gotten instead of this is a crew cab we do have a super cab so you have obviously a back seat but it's more like a regular back seat in a car and we don't always utilize the full bed in that truck or in this truck here so I've always felt that it'd be better to have a bigger back seat to put some stuff in or people or whatever uh, whenever we need to do that instead of having a longer bed. But for some reason, that's what we wanted when we first got the truck. We wanted the longer bed, so we went with an extended cab, a super cab in Ford language, um, which, I mean, it, it works fine, but whenever we upgrade from this truck, it'll definitely be a crew cab. So that's something that I've learned. I mean, and it, it's different from person to person, but if you have, you know, if you have a family or whatever, and you want more people in the truck, 
then I would definitely advise to get a crew cab. Now you can get a crew cab with a five and a half foot bed, which is the most common uh, when it comes to a full four door uh, half ton truck. And you can get the uh, crew cab with a six and a half foot bed, uh, which this one has, although it's not a crew cab. Uh, in my opinion, the, the truck is just too long, but for many people who get a super cab or a cab and a half, it's because they want the longer bed. So we'll be fine with just a five and a half foot bed versus having a six and a half like now, next time that we get one. But as long as it's a, a crew cab, then I'll be happy. So hopefully we can get something like a Lariat, uh, even though this truck right here um, is an XLT. It's the 302A package, so it comes with Navigation or not navigation. I'm sorry with the infotainment system my four touch which was a first for this generation um, Or it was a first for the f-150s when it comes to an XLT trim level um, so we have the the touchscreen and Also what comes with the three three oh two a packages heated seats remote start um, Power sliding rear window just very nice um, so, you know, very happy with the truck. It pretty much has everything that um, that we need or that we want. Um, would I like to have the, the nicer stereo system? Yes, definitely would like to have that, but you have to step up to a Lariat to get it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna jump outside here and then uh, go over the exterior of the truck and the way it looks and that kind of thing. And uh, then we'll continue the video. Okay, so here it is, the 2015 Ford F-150 XLT. The one that we have is in tuxedo black. Very nice color. It's a metallic color. Can't really see that now, but I'm very happy with it. It has the FX4 package. Basically gives you a little better suspension and the nice badging and then uh, some skid plates and stuff like that. backup sensors an XLT F-150 does not come with the uh, power assisted lift gate but it does unlock from the, from the key fob as I mentioned six and a half foot bed for some reason we haven't gotten a bed liner in here yet but it'll probably happen as well comes with the package is remote start and a nice rumble from the V8 favorite aspects of this truck in my opinion is the engine we picked the 5 liter v8 it's got 385 horsepower and 387 pound feet of torque and I will have to say that this engine performs perfectly it never skips a beat it's got great power great torque and it sounds awesome so that is probably my favorite part of this whole truck is this engine here that's the chrome package, which is a nice look. I do like it, but I would probably go with, uh, if I weren't went with an XLT again, it would be the sport package, so you get more of the blacked out grill. Like I said, chrome, I mean, it's, it's nice looking, but I like more of the, uh, the black look. Let's see here, hop inside the truck. Looks a little nicer now when we got some quick uh, vacuuming in here. As you can see, a super cab has a uh, pretty good room if you fold the seats up here and enough room for people to sit here, especially a six year old. I mean, she has plenty of room, but like I said, it's, it's more like a uh, like a regular back seat. Now, a crew cab has just enormous amounts of room in the back. Let's see here. That's a headrest hanging out there. We have the steel cloth interior. 
infotainment system, heated seats right there. You have two USB ports, auxiliary cable, and SD card holder, 12 volt. And also part of the 302A package is you get a AC outlet, which is very nice, especially when you're going on long trips and you want to charge phones, laptops, iPads, what have you. This here, yep, it's locked for a reason. Keeping some uh, safety equipment in there. <laughs> All right. As I said, um, it was going to be pretty windy here, which it is. Just wanted to show you the bed here. We have the LED lighting in the bed. We're just going to jump in here right away. guys can hear me better here let's start it up so what we have is pretty much a bench seat you can flip this up that's also one thing that I would change in a future truck is to have the the captain's chairs or the bucket seats and then have the console here. Um, so we, we pretty much always have this folded down. We never have anyone really sitting here in the middle seat. As you can see here, my four touch infotainment system. It's nice, you have a backup camera here as well. equipped with a snow plow mode which we will never use basic buttons here for traction control and that kind of thing so you can see here here's one of the trip meters that we haven't reset for the past 9,000 miles so what we're averaging the past 9,000 miles is 17 miles per gallon and we've used 528 gallons of fuel for anyone that's interested in information like that just to show you here, you got all kinds of information, digital speedometer, tire pressure, and got to change the oil here soon. Just all your off-road settings. Let's see if I can get a little closer here. Everything is accessible from the steering wheel. You have your voice activation, volume controls, and that kind of thing. I mean, all in all, we're just we're very happy with this truck. I mean, it is a great truck. Um, like I said, we haven't had any real issues with it. Um, I forgot to show you that while we were outside, but the the tires are still good. They're you know they're more than half. You know what? I I might as well just jump out and show you real quick. There. Brakes are good as well, which is uh, nice to know after 17,000 miles, although most of them have been uh, highway miles, so you don't really use the brakes in the same way. Um, you know, if we had done more of the city driving, but it's just very, very good to know if you're someone that's considering getting one of these trucks and just the wear and tear situation. One thing that the lady of the house does not like is that these amenity mirrors do not have lights on either side. Gotta wash the crap here. It's actually not crap, it's my adorable stepdaughter Writing notes to mom. <laughs> Kids, man, they're awesome. Get that back up in there. So one of our trips here, she picked up 
one of these things, pretty cool. Got a, uh, it's like an Indian reservoir type little store that she found, so I can't remember where we were. But just a nice little personal touch to the truck and here as well. A little cubby holder here and my stepdaughter loves to collect leaves for her mom. So she keeps them there. We have a little cool, awesome pine cone hanging out here. The hula hula dancer covered in leaves. As I said, the, the truck has been used. Especially going on longer trips and, and utilizing all the room and stuff that way. Oh yeah, there was one thing here that annoys me a little bit. So on an XLT trim level of the F-150, you uh, you have your shift on the fly here. It's too high, four high, and four low. And then you pull it out for the locking diff. Now on a trim level, if you go up a trim level to the Lariats, you get a 4A option here as well. Which I think kind of sucks that you have to jump up to a higher trim level just to have like an all-wheel drive option. Because when it gets uh, slippery outside, obviously you can put it in four high, um, and you, you can you can drive in four high more than you know or faster than 55 miles an hour, um, which is you know not really something that they recommend. But you you can do it, but you shouldn't be doing it like all year long that kind of thing. So it would be nice to have a 4A option here as well, because these trucks they get very tail happy. Uh, even in rain and if, if you kind of punch it for whatever reason you need to get you know uh, get going it, it can easily just start you know sliding the rear end around so um, I know that some of the Chevy's actually like an LT trim level you, you still have a 4a option here um, so that's something that I wish this truck had and that I think Ford should just put on all the trucks um, at least an XLT trim level The title of this video says 2015 slash 2016 Ford F-150. And the reason why I put that there is because from 2015 to 2016, I mean, not much has happened. One thing is though that the uh, infotainment system is now Sync 3. It's not my Ford Touch anymore. So I have actually have a separate video uh, where I do a tutorial or a review of the new infotainment system. So. You know, I wanted this video to be relevant for, you know, the person that might be looking at buying a 2016. So, and you get the, um, if it is equipped, it is an optional equipment or optional feature where you have the trailer backup assist. Um, so basically a button that sits here that will uh, control your, your trailer if you have one basically it will it'll steer it for you so that that's one feature that's new for 2016 but otherwise not much has changed between 2015 and 2016 I mean the major change in the f-150s was for the 15 model year where they came out with the uh, the new redesigned exterior and interior and also the aluminum body and bed now one thing that happened during our little trip that people should know is the let me see if I can show you here. It's the My Key feature. Let's see, where is that? So what what ended up happening was that, yeah, here it is. What you can do with uh, every Ford, actually, because this is a standard feature, you can program one of the keys to, uh, let's say you want to let your, your kid drive the car or whatever. You can set one key to, um, restrict certain features in the vehicle like the stereo you can't turn it up all the way and you can't go faster than say 60 70 or 80 miles an hour so what ended up happening was that um, it was accidentally set um, my wife was messing around with the features and set it and then she didn't have the second key with her so when we were going <laughs> or we didn't have the second key with us so when we were on our long trip there um, driving back from Arizona we could only go 80 miles an hour the whole way home which sucked because when you go I well what is it I-90 I think it was I get confused but I think it was I-90 that we ended up going because we went up to uh, Yellowstone and then we went straight east home to uh, Pittsburgh I mean I I-90 is 80 miles an hour the whole way for like I'm, I'm not kidding it's probably two three thousand miles 
2500 something like that and you know you want to go 90 miles an hour or something like that you know speed it up a little bit we can go more than 80 miles an hour and we couldn't turn the stereo up more than half so that can be an extremely annoying uh, feature I would advise people to not really mess around with it <laughs> but you need both keys to be able to um, reset a my key setting so one the the first key is your master key and then uh, you set whatever settings you want but if you want to reset that afterwards you need both keys in the vehicle and we didn't have both keys so that was a pain in the ass now with that being said i'm going to take it for a uh, little long or another little drive here and then uh we're going to end this video okay so i'm just going to take it for a little spin here i'm actually going to go home and like i said i mean it is an owner's review but we haven't really not that much has happened we haven't had any issues or anything like that we're i mean the bottom line is that we're extremely happy with this truck it, it's treated as good even though it's the first year of a uh, new generation f-150 and many times the first year of of a uh, a new gen vehicle sometimes you might have one you know little issues here and there that they fix the next model year and the model year or the the year after that we haven't really had any of that so Bottom line is that we're very happy with the truck. I love that engine, I love that sound. Versus going with an EcoBoost, which is an awesome engine. I love that engine too, and it does sound good from you know, sound enhancements and stuff inside the truck. But with the V8, you just, you don't have to mess around with it. I mean, it's, it's just pure, natural, there's no, Placement for displacement so I hope you guys enjoyed this owner's review if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section and I'm sure you know always when I make these videos I feel like I'm forgetting a bunch of things but I try to be as you know honest regarding our ownership experience as I could be in this video so just let me know if there is anything else that you want to know just leave me a comment and I'll reply as fast as I can and as always, thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time visiting this channel. Please check out some of the other videos. And if you like them, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.